I'm Pam Blundell from the Institute of Psychological Sciences at the University of Leeds. Today I'm going to be talking to you about statistics and particularly about null hypothesis significance testing and why actually it's not the best method always for doing our statistics and our analysis. I'm going to start by outlining the logic of null hypothesis significance testing and then I'm going to tell you about type 1 and type 2 errors and finally, I'm going to tell you about power and effect size analysis. In psychology, we're trying to answer questions about behaviour. And behaviour is variable. While we might want to know about cognitive processes underlying behaviour, we can't measure those cognitive processes directly. Therefore, we have to use behaviour and analysis of that behaviour in order to answer our questions about cognitive processes. One of the things we're trying to do is to establish whether differences between two populations are due to perhaps an experimental manipulation or a difference between those populations such as personality types or whether it's down to chance or a sampling error. For example, we might ask a question such as does caffeine help me learn? In order to address this question, we would first of all get two groups of people one group of people we would give caffeine and another group we would give a placebo. We'd then run some sort of an experiment, some sort of test, to measure the abilities of those people. And then finally, we would have to look at the data that we've gathered from that test and run some analysis to determine if the caffeine has affected people's ability or if the measures that we've obtained are by chance. That is, is there actually a difference between those two groups' test scores? This means that we're setting up two hypotheses. We're setting up a null hypothesis, which is that there is not a difference between the groups and any difference between groups has been obtained purely by chance. We're also setting up an alternative hypothesis, or H1, and this is that there is a difference between the groups that is due to our manipulation, 